Hey guys, so I am in Arizona still, and I will be going to Ohio, I don't know, like this weekend. So, um, like, one of, probably the next two videos you'll see will be in Arizona, and then the one after that will probably be back in Ohio. Um, so, <laughs> I don't have an idea for this video. Um, basically... So I'm planning on getting a crested gecko. So I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying to find out where to start with this video like even. So um I have a green iguana and I have two fish tanks, but I have another 55 gallon fish tank. And I was looking for the easiest lizard to keep, which that's different for different people, okay? So like if some people have much more, sorry, I'm, I'm in outside, I'm outside at night and I just heard something and I wasn't sure what it was. Anyway, so some people might have like a large amount of money that they want to go out and spend on stuff. And yeah, like, I'm not like poor, but like, I don't want to, I'd like to be conservative, like, not, maybe not conservative, but like. I don't want to buy something that's going to require a lot of, not maybe care, but, like, initial cost, if that makes sense. So, um, also, I don't want to have something that I have to fight, feed live insects. So, I was thinking about getting a box turtle because I'd be able to, like, they might be, like, afraid of, it might be, like, afraid of me, but, like, I wouldn't have to worry about it really not liking me because it's just, like... I don't know, I'd be, able, I'd be able to, like, set it out and, like, let it roam and, like, do stuff, which I can't do with my iguana, because it really doesn't like me, um, which, I mean, it's never really liked me, it's not like I started out with it wrong, it's more like, when we got it, it lost its tail, like, like, a, a few minutes earlier, so it was kind of, like, freaked out and stuff, and it was, like, the second, or, yeah, like, the second lizard I had ever owned or whatever. So, um, I wanted to get something else for the, um, tank space that I have under it. Now, don't want to have to, like, I don't have to, I don't want to have to have UVB. I, and I don't want to have to feed live insects or, like, um, uh, mice or something like that. So, basically, I'm looking at either a snake or a turtle or a, rep or a uh, lizard, and Basically, what I found is, like, all tor all turtles, and I'm pretty sure all tortoises, need UVB. And uh, all turtles are basically omnivorous. So, turtles are out of the picture, and most turtles are um, aquatic. I also don't want something aquatic, because my dad doesn't want me to have something aquatic. So, um, turtles are basically out of the picture. Tortoises need UVB, so they're out of the picture. Snakes don't need UVB, but I'd have to feed them mice. So they're out of the picture, and um, I, I don't really want to feed mice, I just don't really want to have to deal with that, but the one thing, so most lizards need UVB, and most lizards eat live insects. Iguanas don't eat live insects, so that's why I decided that I was going to get an iguana. I wish I would have looked into it more, um, which I thought I had, but I really hadn't. Um, so, yeah. Basically what I found is a crusted gecko. Also, like, a le- Um, not a lechianus gecko, but a, uh... It might be... My, lechianus geckos might be the same, I'm not sure, but jehuas, which are, um... Like, mossy-tailed pre... I know, prehensile-tailed, um... Geckos are mossy, prehensile... Something like that. Um, but those are kind of rare, and crusted geckos are really, really common. So basically, what I've decided is that I'm going to get a crusted gecko, but I don't want to go out and buy one from a pet store. I want to wait for someone to put one on Craigslist, because I know, like, that'll happen. Like, I've seen them so many times. And what'll be good about that is, like, first, I mean, I'm kind of rehoming something, which is kind of, which is good. And then also, I am, like, um, it'll probably come with lights and stuff, um, <laughs> and like be cheaper but uh yeah basically what I'm getting to in this video I did 
research on a crested gecko and would you guys be mad if I do like videos on a crested gecko even though I don't have one I did this with the bearded dragon kind of got flack I mean I don't know um <laughs> not very many people watching my videos believe it or not but uh yeah kind of got flack so I'm not sure if nobody comments on this video then I'm gonna do it um just because I don't have any feedback so I guess I'm gonna put a poll here and uh yeah please comment or vote on the poll I always say it only takes one person for me to like change my mind I don't know what I will do I'll probably try to do something with fish um I don't know but I'm gonna do a, like a huge update video when I get back which is kind of sad because I had lost an animal while I was gone. Uh, you'll just have to watch the update video for that. Um, it wasn't really my fault or my parents' fault. It just got out. And, like, we, we thought we had put something where, like, it, it had gotten out before. And um, we found it. Then it got out again while I was gone. They, my parent, My dad found it. And but that was my dad's fault. He left the top open, and then um, it got out again, and we didn't find it, and it won't survive for as long as it has been gone. So we're gonna have to get another one of those. Um, also, I think another one of my animals died, which I have no idea why. It could have been from old age. I got it from somebody else, but um, I'm not sure if I put that in a video. So hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of weird. It's just me talking to a camera. It's nighttime there's like lights here and stuff and I probably look really bad the camera I, I, I hiked up Mount Eldon today which is like 4.5 miles I don't know if it's there or back or 4.5 miles up 4.5 miles back but it's like really high up like above sea level so there's less oxygen and stuff like that and again I'm from Ohio where it's flat so well flat in the part of Ohio that I'm from so um yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like it down below. If you have any comments or concerns, put it in the comments below. If you want more content, then subscribe. Have a good day. See you in the next video.